all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for returning back here. If you are a returning subscriber, God bless you for your love, for your support. But if you're new here, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And when you subscribe, click on that notification bell. It is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I can promise you, you will always enjoy every content that I upload. So dear friends, are you a single mother of one, two, three? You are on online dating apps searching and due to the challenges you're facing, you are like, maybe it's because I am a single mother. Or you have not yet tried on online dating apps due to the challenges that you have been facing in relationships in real life you're like i will never find anyone who will marry me because i am a single mother who will take a woman with one two or three kids no one so you are there discouraging yourself you have given up completely on love you are very disappointed are you at that point if the answer is yes please please watch today's video because it will help you very much and inspire you a lot because we are going to be having a story time <laughs> yes this video is a very beautiful success online dating love story of a kenyan lady who is a single mother of two and found love on online dating apps with a guy from belgium <laughs> yes and the time she found love she was 37 years of age so guys if you are a single mother this is for you she told me bella i want to inspire all single mothers out there plus guys if you are not a single mother you're on online dating apps searching for love oh my goodness this lady shared with you very life-changing advice which will help you in your search so guys without wasting much of your time let us jump into our today's love story so dear friends like i said our today's love story will be about a kenyan lady single mother of two who found love on online dating apps with a Belgian guy at the age of 37. But guys, before we go to how she found love, how she came to find out about online dating apps, we already know that she is a single mother. So it is good for us to know how was her past love relationship experience like? What pushed her to join online dating apps? The reason why I want us to go a little bit deep to her past love relationship experience it is for you who is searching for love maybe you are in her situation the situation she was before joining online dating apps so you can relate and it can inspire you to believe that things will work out you are not going to be crying forever the situation you are in is not permanent yes one day you will find a man who will love you for who you are even if you are a single mother it doesn't matter the number of your kids <laughs> yes so dear friends anna tells us her love life started way back then when she was in her 20s at the university campus she fell in love with this kenyan guy the guy was really cute they were so much in love with each other everything was going very very well there were a couple goals they had lots of future projects together and you know guys anna was in her 20s the age that is okay <laughs> to share the goodies so she shared her goodies and the outcome was she got pregnant after getting pregnant the guy that said loved anna so much after discovering anna was pregnant he ran away and never wanted to know anything about the pregnancy so dear friends because anna was pregnant couldn't continue with her studies at the university had to stop and take care of the pregnancy so she took care of her pregnancy it came to an end she gave birth to a very cute baby boy so friends anna is such a loving passionate romantic lady who always dreamt of finding a guy 
who will give her true love and she will also exchange that true love to the guy so after the first disappointment of the baby daddy never gave up decided to try again dating and she dated another kenyan guy they dated for a while but again it was a disappointment so friends after the second relationship failing and i was like maybe it's because i was dating young guys so now i am done with young men i'm no longer going to date young men but what she decided to do or to try please do not judge anna because i know in life guys we all make mistakes and when it comes to relationships <laughs> guys we can do things that later on you sit down and ask yourself what was i thinking to do that so what anna decided to try she tried dating a married guy she dated that married guy but tells us nothing made her happy guys if you are in a relationship and that relationship is healthy that relationship is the right one you should be happy oh. <laughs> so if you are not happy it is time to end the relationship anna had to end her relationship with that married guy then her love life continues i've told you anna is a romantic lady a lady who really wants to be loved and give love because she has got lots of love to give yes so found another kenyan guy even promised to marry anna anna was so happy that finally has found a guy who is serious a guy who is ready to settle down so they continued dating and eventually anna got pregnant again with her second baby and after getting pregnant i don't know what is wrong with men i'm told kenya has got lots lots of single mothers due to that most kenyan men are not ready to settle down once they impregnate you they run away from you it is very very sad again don't come after me not all kenyan men because we have good kenyan men <laughs> so friends when anna got pregnant this guy started changing acting weird and then it continued like that till anna gave birth to her beautiful baby girl things continued a bit better for a while and then this guy started again mistreating anna and disrespecting her in the end they had to part ways left anna as a single mother of two at the age of 32 so she tells us at the age of 32 nothing was working out when it comes to relationships she became very frustrated very disappointed in herself so in the end she opted to remain single she remained single no man by her side and at some moment tells us thought of getting a married guy again but told herself stop don't get a married guy because it won't make you happy and it is not god's plan for you to be with a married guy also advises you single mothers young ladies out there never stay with a married guy because it is not god's plan don't give up don't get frustrated don't be desperate to arrive that stage of opting to stay with a married guy and i am adding there because there are some ladies you find yourself you're single maybe you are in your 30s you are in your 40s you don't have kids you don't have a man by your side and you tell yourself maybe i should get a baby with a married guy and just live like that single or maybe i should just stay with a married guy because i am a single mother no man will take me with my kids so the only way is to stay with a married guy because married guys don't care you have kids you don't have kids <laughs> no guys don't do that never have a child with a wrong guy a guy who isn't ready to be a father a guy who is a husband 
to another woman it is a very very bad thing and you are putting yourself in a complicated relationship but this is not only bad for you bad to the baby the baby that you are planning to have with that married guy this baby one day will ask you questions and you'll sit down and cry why you became that selfish and have a baby with a man who wasn't ready to be a father or a man who is in a complicated relationship because he has a wife guys it is a very bad idea if you had it in your mind cancel it never opt to stay with a married guy or even have kids with a married guy friends anna remained single till 2020 and one day she was on youtube watching some youtube videos then came across this interracial couple the name of the channel i know some of you who follow interracial couples you know this couple it is called naughty and sarah or sarah and naughty something like that the lady is from kenya and the guy is from switzerland so anna watched their video on how they met and in the video they mentioned that they met on online dating apps anna tells us at that time she was 37 years of age and never knew anything about dating apps so it was her first time hearing about dating apps <laughs> can you believe guys yes it is very very possible and that is why i always try to give you all the information that i know will help everyone because some might know but some might not know so that was the case with anna she never knew about dating apps until she watched that video of naughty and sarah on youtube on how they met because anna was 37 no money in her life she tells us she almost gave up you know on relationships because she had passed 35 years so 37 considered herself as very old who will marry me <laughs> i am 37 who is gonna marry me i've passed 35 <laughs> yeah so that was what anna told herself and after watching that video was like maybe i should give it a try so she decided to download that dating app i am going to be sharing with you the name of the dating app before i end the video so don't come and start telling me what is the name of the dating app <laughs> without watching a video no 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 we are not going to do that you have to watch the whole story and then get the name of the dating app okay <laughs> yeah so she downloaded that dating app and later on came to discover other dating apps like afro introduction okay cupid you know bumble so she says she downloaded seven dating apps and after downloading all those seven dating apps on her phone started receiving lots of messages which confused her <laughs> imagine with seven dating apps and you're receiving messages from all those seven dating apps it's a total confusion so in the end she was like no i'm going to delete all of them and remain with only three dating apps so she remained with the app where she found the one afro introduction and okay cupid online journey started she started swiping and liking but tells us it wasn't easy at all so you who is on online dating app searching maybe you have seen the thumbnail of this video and you're like oh my god she's so lucky guys it's not only about luck <laughs> she says it wasn't easy which means she came across lots of challenges and we are about to know those challenges that she came across on online dating apps so anna tells us one day she was on afro introduction then got a message from this guy everything went very well they started chatting then exchanged phone numbers <laughs> which is a good thing when you exchange phone numbers with a guy because that is when you start getting to know each other deeper <laughs> so after exchanging phone numbers and chatting for a while the guy asked for a video call yes they video called and as they were talking this guy told her please lower your camera 
<laughs> then she was like why is this guy asking me to lower my camera so she had to lower the camera a little bit <laughs> then the guy came with another request please open your blouse <laughs> these guys can be so so crazy online dating apps how can you do that what a way of knowing someone <laughs> so anna was smart enough and disconnected so after anna disconnected later on decided to block the guy it did not end there she found another guy on afro introduction everything was going very well the guy telling her beautiful beautiful words sometimes you tell yourself is this true this is too good to be true <laughs> I told you guys online dating apps exist weird weird people crazy people people with bipolar people who will just be with you as their online girlfriend but with no intentions of meeting you so Anna's second guy on Afro introduction was really really good at chatting at talking with her no nude photos or anything but later on this guy ghosted her <laughs> <laughs> yeah just like that and anna never chased the guy and later on it was the guy who blocked anna so what do we learn from here guys i've been telling you first of all do not attach yourself to a guy that you start chatting he tells you beautiful words you are calling this guy your fiance already and you haven't seen any actions because in the end you are going to cry <laughs> second guys never chase a guy if a guy is interested in you there is no need of ghosting you he's gonna stick with you talk with you maintain that good communication with you don't be deceived by these guys they disappear two weeks three weeks then they return they are going to be doing same same ghost on you till they block you yes so let's be smart let's shine our eyes <laughs> so anna you did good not to chase this guy because this is how a woman who knows what she wants should act he kept on browsing through men's profile and came across another guy they chatted for a while then this guy told her that i am looking for an agent who will market and sell my hairline <laughs> one shall never end <laughs> she got so disappointed frustrated because it was very very challenging for her to find a guy on afro introduction eventually decided to switch off her profile on afro introductions before i forget guys anna tells us never paid on afro introductions was chatting with men who were paying so friends she tells us after switching off her profile on afro introductions decided to concentrate on ok cupid because she wasn't that active on ok cupid but because afro introduction was gone then she had more time to put on ok cupid she chatted with men on ok cupid but they could come and go <laughs> She could chat with a guy and then after two days the guy ghosted her just like that till when she got so frustrated and decided not to continue her journey on ok cupid decided to concentrate on that dating app where she found the one he tells us she could swipe and swipe and swipe until for that day couldn't have any more swipes <laughs> i know you guys who have been on online dating apps for so long can relate to this <laughs> you know you browse through men's profile and they keep on bringing the same same meaning it's the end for that day <laughs> so she could do that every day randomly then one day came across an american guy everything was good when they started chatting till anna mentioned that she is from kenya <laughs> the guy told her that kenya is too far for me can you imagine guys <laughs> for me sometimes i don't understand these guys you go on a dating app you know this dating app is full of african ladies who are in africa and then you chat with a lady she tells you i am in namibia i am in zambia i am in kenya you say it's too far for you then chat with ladies 
who are in your location. So I have a tip for you here, beautiful ladies. Some of you have been coming in my DMs on Instagram. You told me, Bella, I'm chatting with guys, but they tell me where I am is very far. The last success story that I shared of a Ghanaian lady, I told you, never mind the words of the losers. If a guy is telling you where you are is very far, that means he is not all that into you. He is not interested in you. Simple as that. It doesn't mean you are unlucky. It doesn't mean you are very ugly. It doesn't mean you are not beautiful enough to find a right guy. No, dear beautiful ladies. The guy is not interested in you. He is not for you period yeah so stop putting these words in your heads and start thinking the negative way so when that american guy told her that kenya is very far he kept on swiping but could get guys who ghosted her that is why i told you it is not all about being lucky guys the struggle is real you have to go through all those challenges till you find the one <laughs> yes anna never gave up i've been advising you and i am still advising you dear beautiful ladies if you are on online dating apps searching and you want to find the right man for marriage forget about giving up yes the challenges are so so many but they shouldn't make you give up i'm sharing these stories for you to learn for you to relate for you to see that whatever you are going through right now on online dating apps it is part of the journey you will also one day share your success love story i am not just saying this to give you false hopes no guys <laughs> even if it was me on online dating apps searching and then someone gives me false hopes things that will never work I could hate that person so i don't want to be that person that you hate that is why i am telling you the truth do not give up no matter what so she kept on swiping but could get men who ghosted her tells us it was her second month to be on the dating apps she was tired already, exhausted, frustrated, was like, no, dating apps don't work. I am going to uninstall all. And that is what she did. Friends, did I tell you that uninstalling or deleting dating apps <laughs> when things don't work out isn't a solution? Did I tell you that? I think yes. It's not a solution, guys, because when you uninstall or delete the dating apps and you haven't found the one, you keep thinking of the dating apps. What if I stayed? Maybe I could have found the one. So this happened too to Anna after uninstalling all dating apps. And after a month, she was like, no, I am going to give it a try. And yes, she downloaded that dating app and started searching again so when she downloaded that dating app she uploaded very beautiful pictures and also wrote on her profile an independent african queen but guys that wasn't all that anna did after downloading that dating app and setting up her profile again for the second time in whatever you do put everything in the hands of God. So Anna, yes, kept on swiping, but praying a lot, a lot, a lot, because God is able. So kept on swiping and praying, after a week, got a message of a guy from the Netherlands. They started chatting, everything good, the guy seemed serious, and boom, out of nowhere. <laughs> The guy told her, I am married. I was on a dating app to look for fun. Because Anna wasn't looking for a guy to have fun with, had to end that relationship. So guys, one day Anna received a message from a Belgian guy and this message was, hi there. When Anna saw that message, 
after some time she decided to respond when she responded they started chatting and this guy started asking anna lots of questions at some point anna got annoyed because <laughs> the guy was asking lots of questions and personal questions opening up telling anna about himself <laughs> so guys when a guy is asking you lots of questions personal questions you know it's a good sign this guy might be the one because when a guy is interested in you he will be very very interested to know who you are who is anna <laughs> so that is why this guy was asking anna lots of questions so patrick said is looking for love and if he gets a good person distance is not a problem he doesn't care about the distance so guys if you remember the american guy did anna get the answer of course yes she got the answer from patrick <laughs> if he falls in love with a girl if he finds the right person if he finds love if he finds that good person that he is looking for distance is not the problem so guys you are not the problem you are not ugly and you are not unlucky anna and patrick could chat every day there is no day that patrick disappeared <laughs> imagine you are getting to know someone that you are interested in and then you disappear <laughs> that shows a guy is not serious no matter the excuse do not take it so patrick never disappeared and after a week of chatting patrick asked for anna's phone numbers so after exchanging phone numbers they made their first video call she tells us they were both shy <laughs> but they made that first video call you know to see whom you have been chatting with if you are chatting with a guy he comes with stories that he can't talk to you on a video call and he will never make a video call with you because he is very shy it's a lie <laughs> <laughs> no matter how shy he is if he is interested in you if he is into you he's gonna make that video call so anna found patrick or started chatting with patrick in september 2020 two weeks of rejoining that dating app so guys they kept on chatting making video calls patrick was working anna too was working but they could make time for each other to communicate every single day and after three weeks of chatting making video calls patrick told anna i think i am in love and i've found my wife oh my god <laughs> so anna was very happy to hear those words from patrick anna tells us patrick has never traveled outside europe so he started by getting his passport and saving money to go to kenya meet anna for the first time so friends after two months of their relationship patrick made a very big step in their relationship he proposed on a video call anna will you marry me anna said yes was very very happy but at the same time she tells us was so scared because they had never met physically <laughs> but she was so so happy so friends i know i haven't talked about the introduction if there was any introduction if patrick introduced anna to the relatives and friends yes guys patrick introduced anna to his relatives and friends but this was done after the proposal oh my god this guy is so so good so after the proposal patrick introduced anna to the sisters the brothers the nephews the nieces and his two parents unfortunately later on patrick lost the dad may his soul keep resting in peace amen but anna met everyone in his family even his friends in march 2021 patrick booked for his flight to kenya to meet anna for the first time but his flight was supposed to be in july 
2021. Anna was so happy, but a bit in a disbelief. We know, guys, <laughs> how this man can play. He will tell you I've booked for the tickets, but they will never appear. So that is why Anna was kind in a disbelief. <laughs> so July 2021 came, the time that they were supposed to meet. And unfortunately, guys, I've been telling you, <laughs> the devil is always at work trying to stop your happiness <laughs> yes because that same same july that patrick was supposed to travel go see anna for the first time patrick got an accident at work so when anna told me this i was like did you believe him <laughs> Because we have heard stories of guys who even go to an extent of killing their mothers or they put their mothers to a sick bed in coma <laughs> just to get an excuse of not coming. But Anna tells us when Patrick got an accident, it was at night. So when she woke up in the morning, found lots of missed calls from Patrick. When she called, Patrick told her that I am at the hospital and also chatted with her mother-in-law when she was at the hospital. They also sent her the photos of Patrick in the hospital. So she believed, yes, that Patrick was in the hospital and the way even it happened, finding lots of missed calls in the morning because they communicated with her when Patrick got an accident at night same same time so guys you who have been chatting with guys on online dating apps and then they disappear when they come back they are like they were sick <laughs> but never communicated with you to tell you i am sick no i didn't want to worry you never believe such kind of things or of words i've been telling you if a guy cares for you if a guy loves you when he is in trouble, in problems, he is sick, you will be among of the people he will communicate with. So this news of Patrick getting an accident the same time that he was supposed to travel, meet her in Kenya, made her disappointed, but kept it strong, kept on praying to God that Patrick gets out of the hospital so that they can meet. Guys, God is good. Patrick got out of the hospital and September 2021, Patrick was able to travel to Kenya, go meet Anna for the first time. So he landed in Nairobi, September 2021. Anna went with her sister and brother-in-law to pick Patrick at the airport. She was very, very happy. She tells us it was a wonderful day. So friends, from the airport, they had to go <laughs> guys i know at this stage you want to know bella tell us did she share her goodies when they first met <laughs> calm down calm down guys we're gonna find out <laughs> so from the airport anna tells us she had to take a risk invite patrick to her two bedroom apartment <laughs> i told you guys when you are in an interracial relationship but i think in any relationship sometimes you have to take risks and sacrifices so anna had to take this risk and there was a surprise to the kids because <laughs> anna's kids never met patrick before so that was the first time for the kids to meet patrick but anna tells us that the kids liked patrick and patrick too liked the kids but also tells us patrick knew about the kids from the start of their relationship anna told him i have kids and he says he loves kids kids he doesn't have any problem and he was looking for a lady with kids so when patrick met the kids they clicked guys there was chemistry between patrick and the kids which made anna very very happy i know you want to know did patrick bring the gifts of course how can you go visit your girlfriend for the first time empty-handed <laughs> that is an abomination <laughs> so patrick brought gifts for anna and for the kids this is the favorite part to some of you the goodies <laughs> anna did not share her goodies that first night when they met she wanted to see the chemistry between them 
and get used to each other so she shared the goodies after three days yes they did it <laughs> so if you were curious to know if patrick was spoiling anna in their long distance relationship the answer is no he wasn't spoiling anna in their long distance relationship anna tells us she was struggling with her bills <laughs> <laughs> but after meeting physically patrick is helping her a lot with bills and spoils her very very much i have a tip for you here dear beautiful ladies last time in the story that i shared i told you when a guy spoils you you know it lightens up a relationship same same advice from anna to you ladies do not ask men money on online dating apps when a guy loves you let him take his time he's gonna spoil you it can be before or after meeting so in this you just need to be patient and be responsible pay your own bills don't think about the guy you are chatting with and be like i'm with a guy he should help me now <laughs> no because you might ask this man money and maybe this guy was serious was planning to marry you think that you are a gold digger you are irresponsible then leave you we know these men on online dating apps they chat with different ladies this lady might act this way and the other might act the other way so try to be unique anna became unique by not asking patrick money till they met but look now she is being spoiled what if she asked before and patrick disappeared <laughs> so they had great moments together in kenya and patrick went to visit anna's family they liked patrick very very much which made anna so happy because yes guys if your family loves your man it's a very very good thing as a woman you feel extra happy because your kids likes him your family likes him what else do you want <laughs> than to be happy he also went to mombasa with the kids and more other beautiful places in kenya patrick stayed in kenya for one month wanted them to get married <laughs> but anna told him no i need to take my time this is not because anna didn't love patrick no guys she wanted to take her time to get to know him very well and then get married i've been telling you never hurry to get married get to know the guy very well and then get married this will help your relationship to work your marriage will work because the man whom you married you took your time and you justified yourself that yes this is the man that i want to marry because patrick is such a good guy a very respectful guy never forced anna that no if you're not going to marry me now i'm not going to marry you in the future no he had to accept and told anna take your time i still love you and i am here waiting when you are ready we will get married <laughs> so patrick enjoyed that one month in kenya with anna and anna's family it was time for him to return to belgium he returned to belgium and april he visited again for three weeks she was very very happy to see him they enjoyed their time together now to their next big plan because every relationship that works should have the next plans <laughs> yes so their next big plan patrick has invited anna to belgium anna will be visiting patrick this december and they're going to get married there girl i wish you lots of luck in your preparations and i know when you get married we will get those photos <laughs> yeah i also want to take this opportunity to thank you once again for sharing your love story i know it is going to inspire lots of women out there be blessed girl and lots of love to you i know right now you all are like she did not mention the name of the dating app where they met on <laughs> guys i almost forgot <laughs>
and you could have killed me for this they met on tinder yes this is our third success tinder story so guys as long as tinder has got bad stories but it has got good success stories you see so try your luck on tinder and who knows you might find the one there so quickly to anna's advice to all ladies out there that are searching for love on online dating apps her number one advice is she found love at 37 the fiance is 43 so she's talking to all young ladies not to settle for two old men take your time don't be desperate and don't settle for less second advice says that most ladies have been thinking if you are slim then you will find a white man because white men are interested in slim ladies so you start maybe starving yourself so that you can be slim then get married to a white guy she tells you when you start chatting with a guy and then this guy tells you i want you to change the way you look maybe i want you slim run cause it's a red flag the good example is her she is not slim but found love on online dating apps and she's so proud of the way she looks advice number three never degrade yourself to an extent of sharing your nude photos with a guy you met on online dating apps no if a guy loves you is gonna respect you will never ask such kind of photos because patrick never asked her for nude photos he could only ask her photos when she changes the hairstyle wanting to see how she has changed you know with the hairstyle and that's it so never do that mistake please please cause you sending your nude photos doesn't mean the guy is serious doesn't keep a guy fourth advice which is the last one try online dating apps cause it works even if you are a single mother you still have a chance to find someone on online dating apps she also added that it is her wish if she could advise all ladies to listen and follow my advice african bella's advice because she has gained a lot since she started watching my videos so that is anna's advice to you all ladies so dear friends i know this video has been so long but thank you so much for your love for your support watch this video till now please give it a thumbs up if you have liked this video share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something comment below what you think about this love story watch my other videos too they are super good don't forget to subscribe subscribe please join the family and thank you for subscribing until next time guys i love you so so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.